on your thumb. Sorry, I normally have a chair here. You know, yeah, no, yeah, it's good. is what I would do here. Even I was showing you the here. What's that? I mean, you know, different different um, charts of reflexology relate to different, you know, have different areas or whatever. But I would definitely say, you know, with all that tension, I'll be, I'd be getting, I'd be prioritizing this big toe, you know. And it could take two hours to do a thorough job, you know. Um, and and I. talk about the like the big toes like the main yeah thing like, or, like once you can get that work and once you get that loose yeah it loosens up everything it well it loosens up this whole inner part of the leg you know of course you got to you know like you got a bit of a, a curve happening in that little toe and as well that, right yeah, yeah. so that's going to create some tension like through here as well so so that needs i mean all toes need to be done but the big toe is, is the most important and then little toe and then these three um and that's why it, like literally most people, even for me at my skill level, and it's not, you know, but my limitations are not usually my skill. It's usually what people can handle, right? Because yeah. um, I'm limiting. I'm working up. I often work people up at nines, you know, 9.5, yeah. 9.9 sometimes, you know. I figure, you know, because I just want to get it. I want to get results fast, you know. Uh, and that's the difference between, you know, I talk about yellow lights, green lights, yeah. you know. So, hi, sweetheart. All of this feels really jammed to me, like in here. Yeah, no, yeah, it's it, it does. It just it, it feels way more different than my right. Uh huh. Like like you said, jammed. You yeah, gotta, like whoa. Yeah. Yeah, you know, right, right that area, right the, the top of it. Just above the joint. This is really common. This is really charged. What I call charged. And I just see what I can get rid of on my first run. Of and then I move it around, like shake it a little bit, to, you know. I now spend, like I said, tell my students now, I spend about 70% of my time when I'm working on a band between here and here. Because if you can get this loose, yeah. you just come through here and it just, it melts under you. Yeah, you know, because right now you can feel all of this is tight, you know, like that's, that's tight, you know, up through here, it's tight, you know, up in, into here. Oh, yeah. But if I just work. work that, even into here, if I work that, I'll just probably bruise it rather than loosen it mm -hmm. because it's anchored here. And it just takes that. So I hold and I let you breathe into it. And then I might start to move it slightly. through here. You know, and then you start to, again, I'd usually spend a bit longer, but, you know, we can start to then come into some of this. So this is going to anchor that that mm -hmm. that that belly tension, and then of course you're tight through here. So you're gonna, you know, a lot of people are. But you can you can feel how tight this spot here. And man, it is barking. Yeah. So what you want to do is just you know find what you can handle, 
Because yeah. even if you're, you know, obviously now you can breathe, but when you're working on yourself, you know, just whatever you can handle. And then just, you know, until that starts to let go. Just basically want to do that with each of your toes and definitely this little toe you know it's kind of curling over a little bit yeah you know? it's, it's hereditary though especially with the hammer toes yeah um, but I, I did notice like on this left side right here when i step on it with a block a lot of pain right yeah here, really yeah tight. yeah yeah I'm just saying the tension it yeah it in. yeah yeah so you probably got a lot like through through here on this bottom little toe yeah, band in yep. there oh yeah 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 i got that too so, but again, it's going to be, to loosen it up, you're going to start here, find that spot, find what, what your maximum is that you can breathe into it, and then hold it. 10 seconds? Yeah. 20, whatever. Until, yeah, until it starts to feel like it's letting go. And then, you, you move it slightly. And that's breaking up the very ends of that tension. And that has a lot, in reflexology, that's going to do with the, the very top of our head, the crown chakra in Ayurveda. They're very important points, you know. But to me, it's more about just the ends of the bands, you know. I'm not thinking so much about that. And then, same thing, you're going to come in, like, through here. Yeah. And again, you can do it slower yeah. and less intense. It just takes more time. It takes more time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And if you go too gentle like that, you never you, access you, it. You, yeah, you never, you never get it. it. You can take all the time you want, but it won't yeah, release yeah, you got to pay the piper if you yeah. want to uh -huh. leave. You can feel that kind of crunchiness in that side yeah. of the joint there. Yeah. So, and then they are starting to, all the toes are starting to curl a little bit, like, and you can feel that, that joint just starting to become, mm -hmm. like, just a little bit stiff, you know? So you're going to want, want to definitely work, like, along here. Where's but yeah, that? Yeah. Where, where is that? Yeah. Right on top? Oh, yeah, yeah right there? Yeah. And this is some Whoa. of the most intense spots, if Whoa. you ask me. I didn't even know pain could be like yeah. that. Yeah. Uh -huh. Wow. Okay. Good one to breathe in, dude. Uh, yeah, yeah, keep doing it. Because you can feel how, like, that's like a bloody little cable in there, and, it, and it's going to be held in here, right there. breathe into that and then come down a millimeter or so. Breathe into that. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So that's what's gonna, you know, basically you, you need that done with every toe, every finger, you know? Yeah. Um, that's, if, so if I was treating you, that's what I would do. I'd get you in the general session, and then I'd be coming in, and, and in, I'd get all of those toes yeah. loose, all of these toes loose. It might take me an hour or two there, an hour, you know, get you to come back another time, an hour yeah. or two here, an hour or two there. So I look at treatment plans, you know, and my first 10 hours is like, hi, how you going? Let's assess, see what's going on. And then it'd be like two hours, two hours, two hours, two hours. And then I'm like, okay, what's still left? Because if I get this done, this will be simple. This whole leg, the hip, it'll all just come away and melt away like, like. But you were saying though, the, the, the theory is the feet, the hands are really like the source. That's right. Of it. And once you get it, it's like, it's, I think you said domino. Effect, yeah, right? domino or effect. Just yeah, like it that. just goes boom, 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 boom. Whereas if you don't do that, even in here, you're pressing up against what I call anchor tension. So I could do oh, this yeah, yeah, yeah. and some might come out. 
but I'm gonna I'm you can feel it's like it's it's solid in there right yeah. it's not gonna come out me rub just rubbing over that unless it's like maybe I access the emotion that's causing that and and it comes to the surface and, and I've seen that happen and it, and it lets go that way so it can let go internally if it's you know emotionally caused by letting go of the emotion yeah. but in most cases <clears throat> even if it's emotionally caused most of the time we still have to work the the big toe and to do a thorough what I call a thorough excavation and, and renovation of a human we, we want to do that we want to get all chronic residual tension out of the person and that like I say for somebody <clears throat> say under 50 on average that would take 10 to 50 hours you know, t you know 10 to 40 at least but you get people over that and um, you, you know like I've worked on people in their 80s and their feet are just I don't know if you've seen the ones of me working on Phyllis she's like, like oh yeah she, she just had 80 years of tension in her feet and yeah. she, you know I could you know at first I could hardly work I'd touch her before she'd just jump you know yeah. so but she's been having treatments now for not for me but one of my students and and for three years or something every week and the change is enormous you know her feet are like 50 percent loose you know which is incredible Can, they, they're t just so tight you know and that's in our our because my dad started um, buying this where it, like the are those is it part genetic but is it also tensions over time? I think so. I think so. I've worked on a few people with bunions and I think I think it's a combination of genetic and just people a lot of people just describe things to oh that's the effects of aging. That's the, the to me there's aging and then there's aging attention. And they're not the same at all. You know, because you can you can get old people who aren't tight. And you know, a lot of the like um, people in Japan, like the elderly people used to get shiatsu a lot and and they used to live the longest in the world you know japan has the, the longest living old people and um so you know it's just that in western culture we there's no intelligence or whatever you want to call it about the effects of tension on the body i mean it's coming in a bit now with stress and all that but you know for whatever reason you know doctors would rather give people anti-inflammatories or anti this or anti, you know painkillers or this or that or the other rather than get rid of the tension you know so um yeah, that's just how it is, unfortunately. But I always do this kind of sideways movement of joints too, you know, and you can feel that one's like got very little range of motion. So you're gonna have to want to do some pretty serious work on this one as well. Same thing though, holding that point. That point to me is just so powerful. And I learned about that when an acupuncture stuck a needle in there and he's like, oh, you got too much energy in the tip of your finger and uh, he bled it. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck, you know, yeah. that's fucking <laughs> like weird shit. But then I started to really go, wow, tip of the finger, right? <laughs> and then I started to, because you can feel the bands quite easily. Like you can feel a band right up to here and you can almost feel it here. And then you kind of lose it here, but you can kind of energetically feel it. And then you go, well, it must be coming in here. And that spot, when you actually start having it done to you, you start to really understand. There's a great one in one of the uh, classes I taught just before I left Australia. This nurse had this chronic frozen shoulder for several years. And uh, she was on painkillers and all, all this stuff. And what I did is I worked, I worked each finger. It took me about two hours and I spent 80% of my time on her fingers and really thoroughly did it. Then I came into here and I completely loosened up all of her frozen shoulder in one treatment. Wow. One treatment. But she had a high pain threshold. And she just allowed me to get in here yeah, right. and it was on she couldn't believe it she's just like her arms moving around yeah if you watch that one on youtube it's brandon working on brooke yeah. Yeah. and and this is what i was doing it's just getting it out from its roots then later i could come in see all of this i could just work that right now and all i do is make it sore it's not going to release you know you just you can feel it it's the same thing with getting a massage right like i'd get someone massage i'd feel great and i'd wake up the next morning and then the same thing yeah because the roots aren't out, you know? And it's the same to a certain extent with some chiropractic techniques. Because if, if you've got like a whole lot of tension in your body, it's gonna pull, pull, your, pull your vertebrae out. Whereas if you get these roots out, see people aren't doing this stuff. And it took me a long, like it took me 20 years to of massaging to understand this, you know?
Yeah, and then a lot of my own stuff, yeah. 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 Like, my initial training was, well, my initial training was what they call remedial or therapeutic massage in Australia. But I really learned a lot from doing shiatsu, the Japanese style, and Thai massage, and then, and then uh, unising, you know, reflexology work, and then the, uh, the Taiwanese Rushu foot massage, which is really fucking painful. <laughs> and I've had just, just then it comes down to individuals who, and I had rebirthing, so understanding the power of the breath, you know, to, to let go of emotions and tension and everything and combine it all. And yeah, it's just been a gradual thing over the last, I think it's been like 32 years now. That figuring it out, right? Yeah, figuring just figuring it out. out. It's just like, with that, I'm just constantly trying to go, how can I help people get rid of their tension, you know? And then I started to figure out bands because, you know, before I was using meridians and then I went to Thailand a lot and they're using sen lines, which are different than meridians. And then I had Japanese guys from the Tokyo School of Blind work with me and they had hidden meridians and stuff. And I couldn't always feel things. And then I came up with what I call the bands of tension, which you can feel. They're not a theory because like you can you can go, this is this is not a theory. This is like tightness, you know, joining on with other tightness, joining on with other tightness and then coming down. Nobody I've ever seen. I, I, I created this this work with the deep with the ends of the bands, you know. Although it was, like I said, inspired a little bit by an acupuncture showing me. With the, the theory that we have the, the meridian channels going through our body, right? The deep like solid where it's all it's, it's all mapped to certain organs. So that's called the zone theory, according to Eunice Ingham was the one that came up with that, and she basically just divided the body into ten zones according to each tone. That's right. right. Yeah. Like there was so much tension because of the disease in the air. That's right. You get more blood flow. You get more blood flow and the life force and that yeah. sort of thing, yeah. So the, the concept of the qi or the life force is intrinsic to Chinese medicine, to Japanese medicine, to Thai medicine, and to Indian medicine and Hawaiian medicine. Uh, so it's, uh, to me, that's a lot of the stuff I've studied too. And I start to, you know, look at, that's an intrinsic part of what I, what I like to think yeah. about too. Yeah, science is caught up. Science is always lacking when it comes to alternatives. Yeah, and also the difference between a living body and a dead body, you know, like that, even that moment of death or whatever, you know, like what's the actual difference there? Because all of, you know, all of a sudden we, we get rid of the body once that, you know, it's like yeah. the person's gone, you know, that's why we bury the body. So, that helps me to understand what we're trying to do, you know. And just that ancient knowledge, it gives me that respect. But all of this is also physical, you know what I mean? It's not like we're just, I'm not too like New Age or it's something where it's all just pie in the sky kind of stuff. It's like, you can feel oh, yeah. <laughs> what I'm doing, you know? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> uh, and if you can't, I can always go a little bit harder, you know? <laughs> <laughs> For the skeptics, yeah, you know what I mean? Question. No, no. People in your videos are like, come on, you yeah. don't do that much pain. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> so, yeah. So, so all of this, you can just feel it. It's just yeah. crunchy. It's, you know what I mean? It's like, right, this is a common area where people, where it jams up right yeah. in there as well. Oh, yeah. And it can feel you know, like grains of sand or crystals under there when it gets bad. And when it, you know, as time goes by, then it, accumul it accumulates in the joints and then just becomes stiffer and stiffer until people call it arthritis. And then you get into people over, you know, 50s, but over 70s in particular, and their joints just start to fuse. They can't even move them anymore sometimes, you know? There's a, I see people all the time, even in their 50s, where their spine, where they're punched over. That's right. Yeah, yeah. I see that walking along. I'm like, yeah. oh. Yeah, point. yeah. Well, a lot of it is. So, so you're saying chronic tension, build up and build up. Because if you don't do something to get rid of it, it doesn't just go away by itself. I mean, yes, stretching can help, and there's a lot of things that can help. But you can see as people get older, if they don't work, you know, do something. And yeah, all exercise can help with that. But but people aren't, you know, how do you get this tension out of the tips of your fingers? You know, even if you're a sports person or whatever, you can't. You know. And so then they get messed up shoulders, you know? So gradually what I do is just loosen up and you can feel that doesn't want to move. That's tight in here as well. 
So that's an important acupressure point called large intestine four. But yeah, I'd want to loosen that thumb up. See that, get that to unlock. That's going to then unlock all of this. Going up, here. going up and causing the, where you're getting all this stuff. That's yeah, coming from yeah, this. Right here. Yeah. So there's no point in just rubbing over there. Like it might help a little bit, so but it, it you know, it's going to keep going. It's going to keep coming back while this is so tight. So what's really going to help is spending the time on this thumb. Yeah. 